Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming back on uh, the very last week with the extension of this contest for November 2014. And obviously, Black Friday has just gone by, so I decided to get a little something fun both for myself and uh, for you guys as well. So I went to Core TCG and got two boxes each of the Return of the Duelist and the Abyss Rising Special Edition. So we have a total of four of these boxes. So we're actually going to do two things. First of all, um, as I promised before, the second place winner of the contest that ends Monday, November, or not November, December 8th, will get their option of one of these entire three-pack boxes with promo card uh, mailed to them, or they can choose to take $10 worth of stuff from the updated trade binder. And then third place gets one of the Return of the Duelist Special Edition boxes, or they get to choose $5 worth of stuff from the trade binder. So those are the prizes for the winners at the end of this video, I'm going to go over a qu uh, quick giveaway that I'm going to do with product openings like this, where there is a lot of products. So you guys will want to stay tuned for that. And basically, we're going to crack these open right now, save those things for prizes and such. And then, um, yeah, let's, let's just have some fun opening this stuff. So here's the first box of Return of the Duelist. It says on the front, Machines, Magicians, and Megaliths. So basically referring to gear gears, spell books. I'm not exactly sure what they mean by megaliths, besides maybe chronomaly was in this archetype, or in this uh, set. But essentially we're gonna go ahead, one of these, we'll just pick the one right here, lucky one in the back. This is available to the um, third place person, should you choose to take it, or you get $5 worth of stuff from the binder, so we'll set this one aside. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open these nine real fast for you guys, as well as the other um, 10 of these, and then um, I'll get back to you guys once the packaging's open so that you don't have to sit through and watch me open all these. Actually, I'll open one of these boxes on camera. So as you can see here, um, we get three of these packs plus either Hyper Librarian or number 30 Acid Golem. So the thing is, Hyper Librarian was obviously reprinted just now in the Legendary Collection 5Ds, but it's still a really cool card to get with Glow Up Bulb back. And Acid Golem's last reprint, I think, well, might not have been this set. It might have actually been one of those like star packs or some kind of structure deck bonus, but, or starter deck bonus. Nonetheless, we're going to open this, and all these promo cards will be for trade as well. So here is Hyper Librarian. Very nice for our first promo. And let's just open this first one as if it were just its own thing. Can't hold stuff today. I apologize for that. So pack number one, we have, once I can finally get it open, Chronomaly Moai, uh, Ninjutsu Art of Shadow Sealing, Generation Force, the card, Madolche Lesson, Revival Golem, and just the rare, Chronomaly Golden Jet, Catapult Zone, Madolche Bapple, and Spellbook of Power. Pretty cool right there for the Spellbook stuff, and just like a glimpse at the archetypes. And I'll stop reading off every single card name, but I'll try to get them all in. So for our rare, we have Heroic Challenger, Double Lance, and just the rare, once again, Where Arf Thou. Typically, these special editions, I think, have like one foil in them at least, so hopefully we don't get gypped off in this ratio. So we have Spellbook of Wisdom, and just the rare, decent rare, but... um. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and open up the rest of these things, and then uh, I'll be right back so I can open all these packs straight through. So, so far for promos, we pulled six copies of Acid Golems, the two play sets, and the rest were Hyper Librarians, which I'm kind of glad for, because I think Hyper Librarians are a little more relevant at the moment. But basically what we're going to do, I decided that since videos have typically gone too long, if they had too many packs, we're going to open one more box worth, 24 packs in this episode. We're going to break it to another part where we will do... 24 plus 3, so it's essentially what I open on this video. And then we'll do the same thing for the Abyss Rising as well. And at the end of all that, I will announce what I'm doing. Um, it involves some free stuff for people, so you might want to watch all these. Uh, so enjoy these openings for fun, and then at the very end, you know, at least stay tuned for that part if you're interested in free stuff. So, you know, I don't know who isn't interested in free stuff. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, let's see, so we're going to go ahead and open this stuff up. I'm running out of space in my recycling bin already. So we have Dust Knight, 
and a bunch of com ooh gear gear accelerator a bunch of commons i've never seen this card before but i guess it's a prophecy card so it's supposed to be for um prophecy slash spellbook it's supposed to be like one of those turret cards but it's not used competitively so i wasn't familiar with it we have Eco, Mystical Spirit of the Forest, and I'm still getting gypped at the moment because I haven't seen a foil card yet, except all these promos. So at least at least there's that. Um, yeah. So this pack has Spellbook Library and Soul of Silver Mountain. Interesting super rare. I used to use it in some of my Earth Psychic decks. It's just... Right now, not so great relying on destruction by battle when you have things like fire and ice hand and like, you know, Shadals will just flick up and then bounce it away or kill it or something. So like, it's just not a prime environment for destruction by battle. Ma Hunter, pretty good. And still lots and lots of commons and rares. I don't know if there's any set ratio to special edition boxes, so we'll, we'll kind of see. I did set them up as if they were. Fairy King Alverdich, Alverdich, something like that. Uh, but I did set them up kind of like boxes, so I guess we will try and we will compare. And we will see um, whether or not they have any sort of pattern. So we have Medoche Chevalier, and that's it. Next pack, we have... Strength of Prophecy and some others. Ponder, another super rare. Gawain, I think this was the promo card, so that's a little disappointing. But hey, at least it's a foil. Like That, that means something in this opening, I think. Oh gosh. Hope this wasn't a bad idea. Getting all this stuff. Girgiano MK. Spirit Converter. Oh, sweet. So we already have a secret rare. It's a little unexpected, but... Nonetheless, it's there. Um, in case you don't know what it does, and or you're like me and you forgot, it says once per turn, you can target an Xyz monster you control, detach a face-up, or attach, rather. So attach one face-up level 4 light monster you control to that target as an Xyz material when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard. Target two level 4 thunder-type monsters with the same name in your graveyard. Add those targets to your hand. So an interesting thing for, um, I guess, hunters, since they're in this set. So at least we're getting something. Let's see. Chevalier again. We're getting a lot of like uh, compulsory escape devices. I'm mainly looking to pull Magellanes because there was a variant of Psychic Side previously played with those, but you know, when Magellane got expensive, I got rid of them. So we have Sisunder, Rebound. This thing was good when Bryanek wasn't banned, so basically right before this set came out. Um, it says, when your opponent activates a spell, trap, or monster effect that returns a card or cards from the field to the hand, you negate the effect, and if you do, send one card from your opponent's hand or their side of the field to the graveyard. When this set card is destroyed by your opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you draw one card. So, negate Bryanak and um, get rid of something your opponent has, which is pretty cool. So we have ZW Phoenix Bow and just the rare. Lots of Where Art Thou. Um, should be interesting. I haven't tried making any Exodia builds since the Librarians, or was it the, um, what was the other variant? The Dragon Deep Draw kind of died. Block Golem, Gear Arsenal, just the rare. We still have quite a few packs to go in this opening. Yeah, my recycling bin is overflowing now, so I'm just throwing stuff on the ground. Double ants. I really don't like doing that, but at the moment there's no way I can do otherwise, which is kind of sad. Uh, Paw Hunter, and that's it. Come on, foils. Let's just get a couple more foils out of these, and then it'll be all good. Dust Knight. And we get this one open. Maybe it's a good pack. Or maybe it's a really bad one. I'm not sure. Eco, Mystical Spirit of the Forest. 
Ooh, sweet. An ultimate rare spell book of secrets. So we'll put that over there. Very cool. Let me show that just a little longer. It looks really nice. It's kind of hard to show ultimate rares um, with this lighting in my dorm, but still cool nonetheless. So I pulled at least one decent card out of this. Let's see where our luck takes us. Madolche tea break, and that's it. Uh, open. Three thousand needles. I remember when thousand needles first came out, and then they kind of evolved him. Spellbook of wisdom and sweet one. Uh, super rare, Madolche Magellane. Very nice. We have Phoenix Bow and another Gawain. Ugh. No. <laughs> At least he's a super. No, I, I can't even say that. He's just. Ugh. Oh well. We have Mahunder. Four packs to go in this opening. That seems like a good amount of time, right? We're not going like 10 minutes or more. So we have Chronomaly Crystal Skull. Not quite the ancient artifact from 5D's Crystal Skull, but it's still Crystal Skull. It actually looks very similar. So we have Fairy King Alverdich again, and that's it. Sorry if I'm going through these commons pretty fast, it's just, you know, there aren't that many commons that are really worth talking about in this set. There are, you know, a few interesting ones, and I'm trying to point them out as you go. But, ZW Phoenix Bow. Sweet! Second Madolche Magellane. Maybe this is worth it after all. Uh, I think these, this box is like 50 per 10 special editions, in other words, uh, 30 packs. And I got two of them, um, at least for this set. Okay, so we have double lance in the last set. So, pretty good so far. So, quick recap of just the foils. We have two Madolche Magellane, almost at the play set, which is great, because now I can almost make this deck. We have two copies of Gawain, very disappointing, but oh well. We got Rebound, which is pretty neat, and then Soul of Silver Mountain. We got a Secret Rare, Spirit Converter. And we even got a spell book of secrets. So in the comment section down below, be sure to let me know how you think I did. And I'll see you tomorrow with the next batch of Return of the Duelist.